So we're back with another rod review. So I just got my uh, new NRX Plus, the 873. So it will be replacing my old one. Okay, so I got the, I just literally got it. So it's the tags right here. You know, look at the cork. Nice, beautiful cork. CI for a real seat. It's not skeletonized. You can see the sides right here. It's something you can like, grip on. Nice cork. Um, there. Got the blue. Look to the first guide. This is black. Right here. It's gonna be nice and parabolic. It's gonna be like fast. It's a fast action tip. So they're nice, kind of like bend at the top section. Yeah, some good backbone. Not too bad right here at the mid. But yeah, this is going to be like uh, you're in between the uh, your three power and four power because of the length of the rod. So this is going to be a NRX Plus 873 Carolina rig rod. It's going to be a 7.3 fast, medium, heavy, quarter ounce to three quarter ounce lures, and 12 to 17 pound line. So it's pretty much... Pretty much the same as the previous one, spec wise. So quarter ounce and three quarter ounce, 12, 17 pound line. The only thing different, it doesn't have the spiral X. As you can see, the guide's blue all the way up, pretty much to the tip, which I do like, which I think looks better. If this didn't have a, uh, a broken rail seat right here, I probably would have kept this rod, you know, it was kind of a bummer, um, you know, getting, you know, having this happen, but, you know, I heard it's pretty common between these, uh, old NRX rods, where the, you know, it's just, just bad design, I guess, <laughs> henceforth why they have the NRX Plus, but, yeah, I think the cork is, is just as good. Um, you know, this one's been used. This one's a 2018, so kind of very used to it. Has a hook keeper right here instead of now the new one has it right here. I kind of like the hook keeper up here because, um, you know, you just put your lures right there and just so I have the the I'm keeping my old eight, uh, 854 NRX. I'm not I'm not upgrading it, so which is a plus. But the NBR NBR NRX pluses they have hook keepers up here, so. Which is really, really cool and a plus. Um, you know, the blanks on these rods are pretty much similar. GL7 blank, GL8 blank. This is a smidge lighter, probably by like point zero something of an ounce or, you know, point one of an ounce. It's, it's, you know, it's not noticeably lighter, but it is somewhat lighter which is a definitely a great upgrade. But overall, I'm pretty sure they're still using the same same guides, same recoil guides. The, uh, the NRX Plus has what? Spiral X wrapping, so it's gonna be more rigid. And it's gonna, it's kinda, it's gonna like um, go back to its form pretty much, pretty fast. You know, the other one takes a minute, but overall, I think they, they're both great rods. You know, I can't wait to use a new one out in the water because I do like the real seat a little bit better. You know, it's a little bit more comfortable. I'll say a lot more comfortable, <laughs> but, you know, but I won't, I wouldn't knock the, old, the NRX, you know, I still, besides the real seat. Everything else is great, you know? So I'll definitely give up a close-up review too because these are both great rods. They're notorious for bass fishing, you know? I guess a lot of people has won, has won uh, many competitions with these rods. And so, yeah, pretty much, pretty much the gist of it. And you guys have any questions? I gotta send this back off today too. So if you guys have any questions, let me know. You know, um, 
you know, these are both great rod. You can't go wrong with the NRX or NRX Plus. You know what I mean? Um, I do like the hook keeper up here for sure. The hook keeper on the bottom is kind of iffy. But they should just but put it back where where it should be <laughs> at the top. But overall, I'll, I'll give you guys a close up. See, thank you guys. All right, guys, I'm outside. Ignored the little bird noises. But right here, we got the uh, NRX 873 Plus versus the old NRX. So you see the, the bottom one had put some use. Um, I am actually actually got this, the newer one, from an uh, expert agar program because, as you can see, my, um, my real feet broke. So, so for a fee, Shimano sent me a, a, a new uh, rod replacement. So, $140. Like, you know, $130. I live in California, so, the, you know, the tax. Um, other than that, see right here. See right for a real seat. It's a little bit different at the bottom. The top right here. Same guides, same exact guides, except for different color threading. Wish they had the old blue, they should bring that back. The black is all right, you know what I mean? So, yeah, definitely a great upgrade. G Loomis has great warranty, great program. The expediter program is no questions asked. So, you know, just be like, you know. Just sent me a tube and I sent it back in. And yeah, I mean, it was a pretty fast response. It was like a message them one day and they got back to me in a few hours. And the next day they sent down my ride. So this was like a two day process, which was really fast. Let's help you. Yeah, I like to see how the skeleton, the skeletonized part right here. Compared to this, it has, you know, which is nice. This doesn't have that. That does, so. Yeah. You can see the handle. It's actually different grip lengths. The butt's longer than that. This grip handle is longer compared to that. But overall, I don't think it should affect the uh, performance. Look how nice it looks close together. Yep. NRX is GL7 blade. The newer one is a GL8 blade. And I think they did a great job refining everything, you know. They took the cork handles from the Conquest and, and the CI4 real seat. So if you didn't know, North, uh, North Shimano North America is actually a, a subsidiary of um, G Loomis, so they pretty much, they own G Loomis, in a sense. And it's really cool because, you know, it's old school, they make their rods in America, everything's handmade. Um, I heard they send the, send the rods off to get threaded by, you know, people in their homes. So it's like very like, you know, your traditional American rod company, very old school. Which is good. That's why they cost so much, I'm assuming. But you know what I mean? The quality's not bad. I think it's a hit or miss. Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty sure people of all ages are working on these rods. Who knows, you know? Who knows what the employees are? But I think they look great, you know what I mean? They're all in stock right now, so it's not hard to get. This one is actually... Made pretty nice actually. I don't see any flaws like that, but it looks good overall. A plus to G Loomis. Thank you for the expediter service. Getting the rod out to me in two days. I'm about to send this back out. So, you know, what I mean, if you have old NRX rods, definitely register them in. Um, and send them out to get upgraded for the newer one for a fee through the expediter service. So since there are no more NRX replacements, 
your replacement's gonna be the NRX Plus. So that's the plus of G Lumens. You know, had an old NRX run and I got to upgrade it for a fee because my real seat was broken. You know what I mean? I don't think lifetime warranty covers um, accidental breaks or just, you know, or abuse, you know, heavy use. So I don't think they would have had warranty that. So I went through the expediter service and they got me fixed up right for a fee, which is not bad. I'll take that any day compared to, compared to like just breaking a rod because I've broken a, a Zodius and now I'm just out of luck. <laughs> You know what I mean? Shimano has a one-year warranty service. G. Loomis has a great warranty service, limited lifetime, but the expedited service is super duper duper prime. So big ups to G. Loomis for that, man, for sure. And getting me back out in the water with this new rod. So sweet. Thank you guys. Have a good one.